Yeah. I'm the Magpie, and this Monday, I'm coming to you with this, which is the Stylophone 350S. The direct successor to the ultra mega super duper success that was the original Stylophone. Uh, so for this one, I guess you just took the original tiny Stylophone and bumped up everything. Like, let's scale up everything. Let's, of course, start with uh, just the physical size and make it maybe like six times as big. I don't have an original stylophone, sadly, so I, I don't know, but uh, maybe six. Anyways, other than that, let's, uh, of course, have double styluses which I thought was gonna be really cool. Like my initial thought when I saw that was that, oh, that's actually really cool. You can play polyphonically. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That would have been such a cool, but silly thing to do with a stylophone. But no, you can't. <laughs> jump ahead to that. They put a photo control on it, which is really cool in theory, uh, because it can control a filter or the vibrato, but if you decide to not put it to control any of the effects, it controls volume. Oh, we have reverb also. Should we just keep that? We're just gonna keep that, because in this video, I am really just gonna show you how it sounds. Um, we have four voices, wood, like four woodwind voices, I should say, and two brass, and two strings, and you can combine up to four. So, I mean, yeah, they really did a, a good job at just, let's throw as much as possible onto it. And then nobody's gonna buy it, because everybody already has a stylophone at home. Because this one, I think only sold in a couple of thousand units. Uh, the original stylophone sold like millions. So maybe this one is what's responsible for them then just continuously releasing new stylophones with, you know... I mean, in my opinion, sorry, but they can do as much as they want, with the whole... Feature lists for a stylophone. You know, modern stylophones has a lot going for them. Like, a, like they're very feature packed and actually sounds really, really cool. But as long as you like stick to this, I don't even know if they do that anymore for like modern ones. But it, as long as you stick to this, then you just gonna have a stupid instrument, in my opinion. Maybe it's a controversial opinion, but this is stupid. <laughs> I don't think that's... I don't think saying this is stupid is a controversial opinion. If it is, then I guess I'm stupid. <laughs> You just can't be cool with these. But that said, it is pretty dope to be able to do that. Or like bass lines, like. You just feel like an idiot. But uh, yeah, we also have the K.
for those of you who can only move the stylus in the downwards direction. And sideways, but not back up again. It's perfect for that. We also have, like, the reason we have two styluses, I should say, actually, since you can't do poly, is that this stylus has a reiteration effect. Which is uh, like that. The coolest thing with it, of course, being this combination of four sounds at once. And it's just fun, sino times that they call it like woodwind, brass, and string. Because, I mean, string. Woodwind. Actually goes very basic. Brass. That one is pretty brassy. We can tune it. Uh, and with <laughs> with this one controlling volume, I guess we have kind of a theremin. If a theremin came with uh, wires <laughs> for half of it. But uh, what's also really, really annoying with it is that you get stuck in these grooves constantly because they're just way too deep. So it sucks to play it. But regardless of all of these, like, I mean, it gets a pass for most of its quirks because it's fun that this is what they decided to do to follow up the original stylophone. I also want to show, like, if you did not know about the Stylophone 350S, then perhaps you do not know about the insane 9 volt batteries that it runs on. Because I had no idea, and I just want to show them because they look so cool. <laughs> For some reason it needs two, so I guess it's just one per stylus. And they are huge. Like, wh what is going on? Just a regular 9 volt battery for reference. So, I've never seen these. I guess they might still be a thing, the PP9 type 9 volt batteries. Uh, many of you have probably seen them in the past, but I hadn't, so I'm just hoping someone else hadn't either, because then you may be laughing right now. And I like to make you laugh. But yeah, it's interestingly unsuccessful of a piece of equipment. So it's kind of lost to time, um, which is why I think maybe this is the first time seeing it for some of you. Um, even though you have most definitely seen an original stylophone and probably a lot of the modern ideas that they had. However, uh, for the sake of this video, like I really, had to end this video very soon because I got so much stuff to do, but we might as well, since we have an input and also a pedal input that I have no real idea what type of pedal they mean. I've been unable to find any information um, for what the pedal does, but I'm assuming maybe that's what it does. However, what we can do with the input and the output is of course we can do some no input stuff. Uh, so we might as well Try that out.
don't think I show that. The absolutely coolest thing you can do with it is to put this one in Wawa. Because then you have a filter control on this photo sensor. Which actually is kind of a fun feature. But you can hear, I get stuck in the grooves over and over. We can, of course, also play something into it. So, let's end with that, my guy. That sounds dirty, like crazy dirty. I think I'm like inputting way too much volume.